Uh, so a little downside, this is the area like under one of the bridges. Now this is where in certain kinds of weather a lot of the homeless people take shelter, especially on the weekend. But what will happen during the week is they kind of get pushed out by the people that li uh, work here. Technically nobody lives legally in this part of town. None of this is zoned residential. Realistically several people do. This is about three different groups. And those who secretly live in some of the office space out here uh, where they're going to rent office space or commercial space and kind of camp out there. Um, there's also another kind of group or class of people that are kind of staying in vehicles. And then there's the straight up homeless, which, you know, usually they're going to be bike mobile. Uh, they, they set up camp. Um, if they don't bother people, they're not going to get screwed with too much. Um, there's been kind of some enforcement as far as not having them camp out directly in the sheltered areas here. Um, and then they stay over here. And then if they're kind of seen, uh, you know, picking up garbage and behaving themselves, they, they kind of get let be. Uh, the other thing is sometimes they're going to have a car. Um, you know, it's, it's probably like six, eight hundred dollar car. It, you know, it's a runner. They can go and get groceries, that type of thing, especially the carpool and pitch in on gas. Yeah, they cooperate, you know, it, it being in a city like this puts them in uh, proximity to some services they may need, um, but it also kind of puts them in a fair amount of danger. So they're going to cluster, try to find people they get along with, um, and look out for each other. But also you got to realize a lot of times this is people who may have been rejected or kicked out of a shelter of one kind or another. And, you know, there's usually reasons for that. Um, the commercial space here is mostly getting fixed up. It's, it's part of the gentrification. And, uh, but some of it's still affordable for the artist types. Uh, here you see a building in the midst of a remodel. A lot of times it gets remodeled and then kind of sits empty for a little while as the developers had kind of high expectations about what they could rent it for and who they could rent it to but there's limitations on parking um, there is uh, storefront marijuana sales here that's what the little green cross thing means it's basically the universal sign for a marijuana store uh, until July you need some kind of a medical card to buy the marijuana in fact you need a medical card just to walk in the part of the store where they have the weed after July, when uh, general legalization comes into effect, it's uh, going to be less restrictive. So there's basically probably going to be more storefront marijuana sales than there are liquor stores in this city. And so far it's relatively chill, you know, relatively low crime, relatively low violent crime. Uh, some people will decry this being the whitest city in the country, well, you know, that's if you don't count uh, Middle Easterners and Asianers, uh, you know, so I would say white, light, whitest city uh, as in light skin, but a lot of it has to do with the fact that a lot of the immigrants here are, you know, European, Asian, or Middle Eastern immigrants. Um, and, and of course the hipsters and people who want to kind of do that sort of a style who move here from other places um, but a lot of that had been attracted by the affordability and uh, that affordability is is not necessarily what it used to be and so it kind of goes back and forth on that but the other thing I've found is it kind of depends on who somebody is and what their connections are what somebody decides they want to give them or let them have for a certain amount of money. Um, because a lot of the real estate here is owned by people who are not, they're not necessarily racing a mortgage payment, okay? If they like somebody and they want them here, they're gonna get a deal. If it's just somebody off the street, off a Craigslist ad, they're gonna get a different price. And so there's a little bit of secrecy, a little bit of game playing on that. Um, I don't know. It is what it is, you know. And uh, so you can see here, though, 
it's, it's not a lot of garbage and graffiti. I mean, this is this is kind of the low down part of downtown, and it's not that bad. I mean, this is like a good part of Richmond, California. You know what I mean? So, uh, showing a little bit of this area to some of the people who may not have been around here for a while, uh, just as the weather breaks in 2015, middle of February. I'll do some more Portland tours if there's some positive feedback on these videos. If somebody wants to see something and I got time on my hands, I'll be glad to rush out and make a video of something. Let me know.